Welcome to Teens on Topic. I'm your host, Emma Arnson, and today I'm joined by... I'm Hattie Shaw. <laughs> I'm Sam Sheridan. Eric. And today we are talking about teens and jobs, so let's see what adults in Davis have to say about that. What do you feel about teenagers getting jobs? Ooh. I think, um, yeah, that's the best way for teenagers to really learn. I think our education system uh, is very focused on book learning and classroom learning, and from my experience, the best way to learn is by getting your hands dirty and getting out in the field. So um, I think it's a great way to, one, teach about how to, how to actually apply work in the field, um, but also just the, the things that you learn, kind of the soft skills that aren't taught in the classroom um, that are really important to employers, I think, you know. For sure, yeah. Mm, if it's good for them, it's good. I think it's a good idea. I mean, I think it's it's good. I think it's as long as you're still able to like, get your schoolwork and stuff done. I had a job over the summers in high school, and I thought that was helpful. I mean, I agree. I think it's I think it's good to get some responsibility in early. <laughs> um, unfortunately, college debt so much it's almost a necessity for kids to get jobs now to pay for the college education but there's so many more important things they can learn and grow and experience as a teenager and the windows for that opportunity is going to close when they get older so it's uh, unfortunate that they have to get jobs I mean there's something to be gained but um, there's something to be lost too so internships and exposure that especially when they're in the form especially when your teenagers are choosing their career path and their um, what their major is going to be and they can get much more exposure to the world by interning and having exposure in other things than getting a job where they're uh, basically not not usually using their all their kit capacity at this point do you know any teenagers with jobs currently not currently not currently but I always had a job as a teenager as soon as I was old enough to work, I worked. And so I had control of my own spending money and it was very nice. And it just, you know, gives you that little step towards independence. So I think it's a great idea. If you're not too busy in school, if you can handle it, when you're not too busy with sports and academics and everything, I think a job is great. Awesome, thank you. I don't think I know any teenagers right now. <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> Oh, I know a couple teenagers, but I don't think they have jobs that I know. No, they had jobs over the summer. They don't have jobs during the, the school year. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. At the moment, no, because I'm getting old. Um, but, you know, if you'd asked me s several years ago, then I would have known tons of teenagers with jobs. Um, I think I, I've seen, it seems to me like it's a, there's been a reduction. Um, I, obviously, there it probably went like this. You know, there was a period of time when probably young people were working quite a lot um, but it seems like there's so much pressure on kids today to like be the best violinist or you know get straight A's that there and we have so much privilege in this country oftentimes that maybe there's less of a need perceived sometimes to be working like not every family needs their kid to be making extra money but um, but there's a lot more value to it than just bringing an extra income to the house so yeah, thank you so much. Awesome. Cool. Mm-hmm. Well, what are their jobs? Typically it's food service or um, in the restaurant industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, my daughter has some, uh, has a few, and she, my daughter's considered getting a job, so that's the trade-off we're having to make, so. Um. Yeah, thank you so much. That was very interesting. I mean, I know we all have jobs here at this table. So it would be interesting to see what do you guys think about what the adults had to say about the job? Well, I think that it's very true that like the majority of people work in food service because I work at Jama Juice and I know that these two also work in food service. And that's just, I feel like, a really like easy kind of way to start out like when you're first working because um, there's a lot of openings and a lot of like kind of like entry level jobs that you can get. Um, but I don't know what they have to say. I think food service, I think the best jobs for teenagers like physical work, I think it teaches a little bit more discipline. And I know me and Eric both have worked on farms doing odd jobs and cleaning stalls. And I also rake blueberries uh, in Maine over the summer. And it's just the, the, the kind of hard work we work long hours and it's sort of gritty. I think it's really important for teenagers to experience some of that and it, gives, it teaches you some discipline. Mm -hmm. 
Like, yeah. Um, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> well said. <thank> you. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have something to say? No, I was going to ask what do you think. Um, I'd say that it's definitely useful to have, for teenagers to have a job. I know I fairly recently got a job, um, and I think it's very useful because definitely a lot of things that I've learned in my job were not taught in school, so I think it's especially... Uh, being young, people have less expectations that you have experience in work, so I think getting started now versus later is definitely the better way to go, in my opinion. Yeah, and also when it comes to college, like, there is a lot that you have to save up for. So I know that I, like, because I do what? Like, Jamba Juice, DoorDash, and, like, theater stuff to, like, keep up with, like, having to save up for college. Um, and so... Like, that's, that's something that I think is a big factor. Because I know that, that one of the women said, like, teenagers get jobs less often now. I feel like that's kind of not true, and I more agree with, like, teenagers have to get jobs in order to, like, not just have money, but also save money up for college. Yes. I know, so when you start young, because you're not always going to be relying on your parents, you know, I guess having that experience working can help you when you're, like, older, you know? Yeah, I, I agree with that. Like working and, and being able to work with people who are older than you and who have been in the workforce for kind of a long, like a longer time is something that's like, I feel like a really important skill to have. Yeah, I like that teenagers, opportunities in Davis for teenagers to get jobs. And I wonder if the school district could leave more opportunity uh, for students to do homework like at school or to like be more accommodating of jobs. Because I know that I work from like four to nine and then, like, I go to the gym right after that, and I just don't have time for homework, so I just, like, don't do it, so. <laughs> not, uh. not always, no. No, but, yeah, I know that, like, work can, like, definitely take away from my homework, but also sometimes, like, I really enjoy going to work and just being able to, like, do something for, like, a, a period of time and, and make money for it, and so, um, like, that's the one thing, because that's very different from schoolwork, because I think that, like, especially working in food service, the work isn't necessarily like as hard, um, but it is like um, like you're making money for it. But school yeah. work can be hard, but you don't make money from <laughs> it. Also, it's just nice having money. You just go out and buy something without telling your parents you have money, you know? Yeah, you feel better about you it. You feel, yeah. yeah. It's different, yeah. And you take more value for stuff you buy with your own money than your parents' money. Exactly. I definitely agree with that. That's one thing that I've like... I don't, I don't know if that aspect of having a job is like, uh, it's not like said enough. I think it's underappreciated that buying something for yourself when you're still relying on your parents for other stuff, it feels a lot better and teenagers should do that more often. I, the level of independence is something that's like, that's really nice. Cause then, but then like you, f you feel kind of bad asking your parents for stuff after <laughs> that point because you're like, I have a job, I should be looking for it. But. Also depends on the person too. Some people, some kids come from a rich family, you know, they always get money, so some depends, just really depends on the person. Mm. Yeah, so, because, I mean, like, I'm very appreciative that, like, for me, getting a job wasn't necessarily a necessity, like, it was something that I kind of was like, I want to get a job, because I want to start working and making money for myself, but I know that there's a lot of people who, like, that's kind of how they, ha like, that's what they have to do, um, and so, but I don't think that teenagers who have like the privilege to like not work as much should just not work because working is fun I like, <laughs> I like, like it, it I don't know it's, t it's taught me a lot and like I feel like these guys have the same opinion of it yes yes and money is good yeah. you heard it here first yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely agree with everything that's being said uh, I'd wonder if you guys would think that like it should be mandatory that all teenagers should get some sort of job or internship before they graduate. What do you well, say? I think it, it's not mandatory, but like so in Davis, like if you don't have a job or do an internship or are really good at a sport, like what are you doing? Like I think it's yeah. it's pretty like enforced. I think it's pretty like in our culture that I mean Davis is more like academics and like sports, but it's still like an extracurricular that's really tough and you work on a skill. I think that's a good thing, although it puts a lot of stress. What do you think? Yeah. People should be required to work? Well, not mandatory, like, you gotta go work now, but, like, I guess you, you should, you know, for the experience, you know? Yeah, I agree with the whole, like, if you're not doing an internship, if you're not having a job, if you're not doing an extracurricular, like, 
what are you doing? Because that's definitely how I feel sometimes when I'm like not really doing anything. I'm like, and maybe it's just because like we live in Davis and like there's very like, like this is what you kind of have to do. But I, I don't know. I, I guess I like being productive and keeping myself busy because I feel like I'm able to do like everything better if I'm doing something. Yeah, I'd agree. I mean, I think it's very satisfying to be working or to have an internship. I think every internship or job, even if it's like as simple as working at McDonald's or anything like that, can definitely teach you not only useful skills, but maybe in some way uh, have an idea of what you want to do for the rest of, like, rest of your life because there are skills that you practice that you don't practice in school. And I think that there's a lot to be said of having any sort of high school level job. Um, I think it's definitely useful to do that before you go to college because I know sometimes people might not be able to get a job in college for whatever reason. So I think getting a job now would definitely be more useful. Yeah, and then did you guys do internships too, as well as jobs? Yes, I uh, interned here as well as oh. I've done other internships. Yeah, because that's one thing that I felt like was like when I was applying for jobs, like having the internship work experience on there was really something that like gave me a leg up and also made me feel confident that like I could go into any job and like kind of pick it up easily just because I had already worked um, in an internship. What do you think? Uh, another thing that jobs get, or like, especially like the really, the jobs people really look down on, like like fast food and like really like low paying jobs, they give you opportunity to look to like, it deal with people who are really difficult. Like a lot of our customers <laughs> in fast food are like really, are really tough and like are say outrageous things, but you know, they're right. And it's really, I think it's a nice opportunity to learn like when you're young that like just because like somebody might be saying something ridiculous, but you have someone have to just take it and like be understanding and uh, sort of work with them. Yeah, like working in customer service, like the customer's always right. Like that's true. Mm -hmm. And like, you just kind of have to be like, like nod your head and like kind of take it and like just still be positive with it. I think that that's something that I've like, that was not necessarily a learning curve for me, but something that like I had to pick on one kind of fast, I feel like. Like in high school, it's like, they're really enforced, like everything's fair and like, yeah. oh, he did this, he did that, like, and then, and then work, it's just like, it's this not, person's right, like it doesn't matter. Yeah, you just yeah. have to, yeah. yeah, I agree. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely agree. I mean, I know uh, we all go to DaVinci, we all have experience working groups. Definitely a different feel for it um, yeah. than <laughs> actually working. Um, I don't, my job, I don't have a lot of customer service. I've done, like, had to talk to people a couple times, but I mainly yeah. work behind the scenes. Um, and I think it's very useful because I, like, the people I talk to aren't usually people that I would normally talk to, so it's definitely not only am I, like, getting a new, getting to meet new people, it's also having better people skills, I guess, because I, mm -hmm. I, I hang out, I, I'm around high school students all the time, They're a little bit of a different group. Yeah, I, I, like, I don't know, work, yeah, work, I guess, makes me feel more confident talking to people, and then, um, it also feels like, like mean, not meaningful is like a weird word to say, but like it feels like you're doing something that kind of has like a purpose, um, whether your purpose is to like make money or like what you're doing in your job. Um, I think that that's one thing that I was thinking about at work on Monday. Yeah. Do you have anything to say, Hoyt? No. <laughs> what well, was something else that you picked up on? Um, I think that it's uh, interesting that I went through a couple of times trying to find a job before I actually found a job here and I think there's a lot to be said of working or trying to find work in a college town because I know a lot of UC Davis students are trying to find work here so I think that's one at least small aspect that some of the more <laughs> some of the um, uh, lesser roles <laughs> um, and uh, more low skill level jobs are being not I don't want to say stolen or, I believe they're being filled by yeah by definitely yeah, so I think it's uh, definitely in a world where you need a bunch of experience to go into any job. I think that's rising uh, skill levels are, I think it's important for teenagers to get a job, but I also would understand why people would have a hard time finding a job with no experience. I was really fortunate and I found a job pretty quickly. Like um, they were looking for someone um, 
and and right as I applied. But I mean, I've known friends that have applied for jobs like their application process took four or five months before they found a job, or like um, I had a friend who had like and eventually found a connection at this place and then was able to find a job after applying to a ton of places. So I know that for high school students, especially when you haven't graduated yet, um, yeah, it's it's those jobs are often filled by um, by college students so you kind of have to have something that like makes you unique or like makes them want to hire you more than just like you can work you know definitely um what would you guys say do you think would change in the job world for teenagers saying like the next 10 years if someone was in high school do you think that they would have a hard harder time finding jobs or more people would have to find jobs or what do you think was the future I wonder if minimum wage went up, if that would make it harder for high school students to find jobs, because people would be wanting more hours and wanting to make more money, and it would fill up faster. Yeah. I mean, it could definitely help teenagers, you know, pay for stuff, but, I mean, it's the point, if you can't find a job, it doesn't matter how high you're going to get paid if you find one. Yeah, and, like, how would the price of everything go up if minimum wage went up? Because, like, I mean, it just went up, but also, like, I where I work and then a bunch of other places, like, prices went up. And it might have been only a small amount, but, like, over time, like, that's going to get, um, like, h higher and higher. And so I wonder, like, how, I, I mean, I do wonder how, like, how, what is it going to be, like, moving for college and trying to get a job there, especially, like, in a larger city. Um, so that's something that's, like, a concern. But I think that, like, all the work that I'm doing right now is not only going to make money, it's, like, experience for future jobs, you know? Yeah. Well, thank you all for being here. I think we talked a lot of interesting things about uh, the uh, jobs that teenagers get. And tune in next week where we're going to be talking about minimum wage.